So juicers, poetry is nice, right? Using words to create emotion and make people feel things. But poetry has more to it than just some pretty words. A big element of poetry is the poetic meter it's written in. Meter basically means the rhythm of the poem as if it would be spoken. The example you'd probably be most familiar with is actually Shakespeare. A lot of Shakespeare's plays and those of his contemporaries were written in a meter called iambic pentameter. An iam is a combination of syllables where the first is an unstressed syllable and then the second is stressed. The word above is a good example of an iam. Penta means five and refers to the number of iams that would be in a line of poetry or dialogue in Shakespeare's case. So a line of iambic pentameter would be, when I do count the clock that tells the time. There's an opposite to an iam called a troche, which is a combination where the first syllable is stressed and then the second is unstressed. Pumpkin is a good example of a troche. Poetic meter like this is called a trochaic meter, and there are examples in Shakespeare too. Double, double, toil and trouble. These are just some of the many possibilities in English poetry. Take a look at what you're reading sometime and see if you can find meter in everyday life. I hope all this info doesn't leave you stressed. And that's the juice. 